everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. Hiya. How's it going? I'm so sorry I'm late today, you guys. I was just painting along. Um, let me show you what I was painting. Remember yesterday, the artwork I was working on? Well, that's it up there, and it's got a lot going on. But sometimes when I start creating art and I'm painting on canvas like that, I get I lose track of time. So, lo and behold, it was 6 o'clock or two minutes till, and I had not even closed my studio up yet. So, I'm a few minutes late. So, forgive me. Hello, Renee and Brianna. Hello, hello. So, if you're brand new here, you guys, my name is Kelly Weiler, and this is Girl Cycle Studio. And right now, you are attending a live that I've been doing for. Uh, 30 days straight is my little challenge, my marathon that I'm doing, and it is Fresh Paint Live with Kelly. So I'm so glad you're here. Hello, Annette. Hello, hello. Thank you so much. I'm really, really just enjoying all of you over on YouTube. I have to say, I'm meeting so many new people over there. Okay, so let's get started. Um, while I'm talking, and I'm going to kind of explain this hot mess, and I'm also going to take my shoes off, you know, so we can be comfortable. So what I've got here, um, this is this is just a, I don't know, I'd say a piece from the 70s. It's a vintage piece, has some detailing on the front. Um, it was a pretty inexpensive piece, but it's it was a nice solid wood piece that I had picked up and I had um, bought this for a show that I was doing. Um, and what I want to do and what I'd like to do even here in the studio is just have a piece for people to play on. So like if they come in and they want to get their hands in the paint and they want to, you know, see what it feels like and looks like and all the stuff. Um, that's kind of what this table is. So it's got a lot of multicolors on it, and that's why. Okay, so um, I think what I'm going to finish up doing is I have Hay Sailor over most of it, and I just want to get it covered with Hay Sailor all over, and then we'll put um, the top coat on. Okay. So, and I am using my paint pixie brush. If anybody needs any brushes. Um, and it goes on pretty quick. So, Hey Sailor is just a beautiful navy. And honestly, if you wanted to, you could even do like a dry brushing technique if you wanted. Like if you wanted to have the paint show underneath, do that. Um, I may, when I'm done, I may go ahead and when I get my layers all painted on here, do a little bit of wet distressing so we get a little bit of that color coming through. And I want to paint the top of this too real quick. How's everybody today? Getting into anything fun? Goodness, I am, I think I'm officially, I think today was actually officially my last day of my marathon, but I'm going to finish the entire week out because I just need to, and I am going to do a giveaway. Um, I haven't been able to get back with my, um, one of my VAs to see if she could help me pick a winner, so I need to see what day is good for her, so if it's not this week, I'll at least do it next week and I will let you guys know. So remember I'm going to do a giveaway where I give away Jennifer Allwood's brand new book that she just published and it is called Fear is Not Boss of Me and it's a wonderful book. Um, I have it on, I have the book, I have it on audio and I bought an extra book so that I could give to one of you. Um, so hopefully I think it's very, um, a good book to read right now with everything that's going on. Um, so hopefully it will, you know, be beneficial to one of you. Um, 
so the under layers, let's just talk a little bit about the under layer, the um, pinky colors that you're seeing. I have um, a combination of cowgirl coral and kissing booth on that first layer. And it does look kind of cute with it popping through. So you could actually, if you see right here, I actually have some popping through. Um, the little tip, too, you can get these little cheap plates and put under your legs, not your legs, but the legs of the piece that you're painting. Those of you that are furniture painters, and you just put those little plates under there, and you don't really have to worry about, well, if you're worried about getting paint on your floor, you don't have to worry about that. Um, and for me, the reason I like it is because here at the studio, it's really dusty because it's an old warehouse. And uh, it just keeps my brush from hitting the floor and getting dirt and dust and stuff like that on it. So that's actually why I use it. Um, Renee says, good, I'm just working and enjoying your talent and inspiration. You're so funny. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it, girl. As I just hurried to get on here, I was, oh, now what happened to my mind today? Can I blame it on menopause? It's got to have something to do with it. What someone would say about that. Annette says, I'm clear waxing a mirror and I finished painting and then a little white wax. How fun. What color? You're white waxing over what color, Annette? I'm just slapping this on really quick. I do love Hey Sailor. So pretty. My floor is uneven, so I'm going to plates don't want to stay on. I don't know if you guys can see the top of this. Can you see the top very well? So this was just a little demonstration that I did at the show that I went to. And if you can see, there's like a pattern on there. And I did a, it's like kind of like a negative stamping where you, like I had the two colors on there. I had my pink and coral on the bottom. I applied um, my Hey Sailor and then I watered it down until it puddled. So it kind of had a puddle on it. And then I pressed those stamps in and it gave, and then it pulls off color. So it does like a reverse stamp. So um, that's kind of something that I was showing um, when I was doing this demo. I should do a demo like that for you guys sometime. Would you like to see that? Super easy to do. And I do it often, not only on my, uh, furniture, but I also do that a lot in my art, like on the backgrounds a lot of times. I'll do like that reverse stamping because it's very subtle and soft and it's just like in the background and I really, really like that. Annette says she used multiple boho blue, mermaid tail, water lily, cowgirl coral. That sounds really pretty to let us know how it turns out. Sounds beautiful. Anyway, this little table's been sitting here looking pretty um, ho hum, ho hummish for a while. Okay. Switch my legs. So I thought I would just 
hurry up and paint this real quick. Take a guess what color I'm going to use over top of this. I need to get my Jamie Ray speed up. Y'all know who Jamie is? Girl is like the fastest painter in all the West, <laughs> as they say. She's fast, super fast. She has Jamie Ray vintage. If you've not watched her show, you need to check it out. She has a YouTube channel with her hubby and her kids. It's kind of, it's really cute. She's always doing some fun stuff. And like I said, she's super fast. I'm just gonna put a quick thin coat. Mermaid tail, nope. You would love some, you would love to see some reverse stamping. Okay. Hey Jade. How are you, my friend? I can officially call you my friend now, right, Jade? It's official. I've met her. It's true. Have y'all watched Jamie? Girl is like, she is fast. Is that what you're laughing at? If y'all have watched her, you, you will agree. I really don't need a really too big of a coat on this one. I'm just gonna set my coat. Poor little table has looked pretty shabby for a while. More shabby than chic. Jamie is fast, yeah. Yay! I'm honored as well. You guys, this girl, Jade, that I'm talking to that's on um, over on YouTube, she has the prettiest hair I've ever seen. It's naturally curly, and it's like ringlets, spiral ringlets. Like, people pay a lot of money for that hair, Jade. Old 57, no, Renee, but you know what? That crossed my mind because I don't actually have a table painted old 57 so yeah so I did think about that but nope yes and it's one that I don't think I've ever used like as far as like a full paint job with the blank little Oh, I missed a spot. Hold on. A big, I, I missed a whole leg. It looks better already, just blue, doesn't it? Oh. A big storm come through today, so it's kind of cool. It's kind of it's like it's moving along. How's everybody's weather? Yeah, I missed a whole leg. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Jade says she loves all the blues. I do too. I'm a blue girl and a green girl. Love all that. Okay. We are ready. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Oh, I'm going to have to rinse my brush out. Oh, oh. Any 
more guesses. Storming here in Canton. Yeah, so that probably is what we had, right? Canton is, yes. That's what just came through here. It was quick though, but it, it was a nice, it's a pretty big downpour. Okay, I hope this gets dried so that I can paint the rest of it. You can see I did a little bit of a little ombre, a um, little bit of a fade paint on this too. I was demoing this, okay? So, color I'm gonna use, Salty Kiss. So pretty, right? I don't think I will hate it if some of that undertone comes through. I love blues and greens together. Um, do you guys remember growing up? Um, do you remember hearing like blues and greens don't go together? Do you remember that? Or is that just me? I've always liked blues and greens together. Such a pretty, pretty bright shade of green. And that says, I remember that. Yeah. Why did we believe that? Don't you hate it when, like, society tries to tell you stuff? Like, what was the old, the old, um, like, you couldn't wear white shoes after a certain time. Was it after Labor Day? Remember that? I just... I remember my mom, mom, if you're out there, sorry, but I remember her like, oh, we can't wear that because it's after Labor Day. I'm like, but I don't wanna wear it. <laughs> I don't think it really matters anymore though, right? And I'm just painting right over the hardware as well. This color is really becoming pretty popular. It's color green, like in clothing as well as in decor. After Labor Day, yeah. It's like, who makes up these rules? Is there like somebody policing fashion, making this stuff up? Well, I always say rules were made to be broken, so. <laughs> However, I have to agree. I think if you're going to a wedding, you probably shouldn't wear white, though. That just seems like a little rude. You don't want to, not that you could take away from the, um, the bride, but, you know. That is one that I try to, like, I.
Straighten this to spot. My grandmother used to say, she used to say that all the time. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. So it's kind of lightening up as it dries, which is very, very typical of the DIY paint. So it should deepen back up when I seal it. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a hard seal on this or if I'm going to maybe put wax on it. I'm not, I don't know. Let's see. I might wax it. I hope you guys can see okay. Probably the legs of this, I would be painting it much better with the paint pixie brush, but it is up there and I'm not going to get up. It's kind of to that point where, okay, I'm down. I'm down, I'm not getting back up until I leave. You can relate. Who's with me? I really like this. Especially in the corners, that the French tip would really in those corners a little bit better. Oh my goodness, you guys, I totally forgot. I went to the restore and I bought some new stuff and it's out in the car. I just remembered that. So I'm going to have to that stuff brought in. So, um, isn't it nice to be able to go pick, pick in again? Anybody else happy about that? Go shutting down the world and not let us pick, right? Should be a, a rule about that. Anyway, I bought, um, I got a vintage suitcase that I think I'm going to turn into a table. Oh, that's not quite dry. And I got a like this really cute little butcher block um, table, bench thingy. Super, super cute. So I'm really excited to get that in here and do something with that. I think that'll probably sell pretty well because um, I think a lot of people will, will use that, you know? That just made my entire day. I just remembered that I bought that. So it's nice. Our um, our restore they go live. They go live and do tours. Um, I think they're going to start doing it every week, which is cool because then you can kind of like eyeball something, and if you spot something, if you have a good eye for it. You can call them really quick and they'll hold it. I think they'll hold it for like maybe three or four hours for you. So that's what I do. And then, then while I'm there, I can 
shop around a little bit. This paint's getting just a little bit thick. Doesn't want to go on quite as smooth. Now there is a way, and I will come live one of these days too and show you how to um, paint to get a smooth finish, like very little brush strokes. Just really just use water, but I'll come live one of these days and show you how to do a smooth finish. It's been a while since I've done that. I think the last time I showed that was back on Periscope, back in the day. If y'all remember that, or if y'all were on Periscope. Um, Jade says that will be cool. I like vintage suitcases. How fun. Yeah. <laughs> Jade says, um, I need to go full clothes, but they're over here and I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the clothes, the holding fairy won't, won't come and do it for you, right? It's like the dishes. It's like, oh, I just got to do the dishes. My daughter usually does the dishes, but she was gone for a couple days, so I did them. Kind of. So it's still a little bit wet, so I'm going to just kind of pounce this in here, and then I'll go over it with my brush. Just kind of smooth it a little bit. Yeah, um, I had a little a little table in here um, for quite a while. Oh, you guys, it was so cute. So I lined the inside of it with this really cute fabric that looked real vintage. And then, um, then I put legs on it, wooden legs, and I painted it and waxed it and all the stuff, you know. But it was so cute because every Christmas, because I had it, Maybe for two Christmases I had it, it sat here. But it was super cute, but I would use it. So I would use it for display. So I don't think, I think a lot of times people didn't realize it was for sale because I used it. But for Christmas, I would put little trees, little Christmas trees inside of the suitcase, like instead of like a, a tree base. Um, and then put like all this vintagey stuff down inside the suitcase. Oh my gosh, so Cute, so cute. But yeah, somebody, somebody bought that. Oh, this is this is really really wet right here. I might have to hold up, hold up on that. Super wet, that leg. I think I'm gonna work a little bit on the top since it's getting a little bit drier. Yeah, I love stuff like that. Oh, dripping, dripping paint. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find at the ReStore, do ya? Do y'all have ReStores where you live? It's a really nice, um, I mean, I love what they do. Oh, I got paint on my leggings. I really love what they do. All of their money goes towards, it stays in your community. Thanks, Jade. Um, yeah, I've tried spray guns before, and you can actually put this paint in a spray gun, and there's not going to be any fumes or anything with this paint because it's all natural, and definitely you'll have no brush strokes that way. That is for sure. 
Um, so when you use this paint with a gun, you need to, like I said, you need to um, thin it down. But you can do like, I don't know, like if I was going to do that, I would probably do like a whole set of chairs or something, you know, something with spindles. like that. So see this, you can easily see how I'm kind of dry brushing. I would not really hate that either. It's kind I'm gonna miss you guys when I, I'm so used to going live now every day. It's gonna feel strange not coming in. I will say Sundays are are nice to have off with the family though. I did feel, I felt a little guilty. I'm not even gonna lie about coming in on a Sunday because we have a really terrible internet service at our house or else I could just go live from my house. Um, I do have a nice area in the basement where, and I have a bunch of benches waiting to actually get painted that are in my basement. So if I had internet service there, I could go live there. Just can't rely on it. So I'm kind of not liking my brush strokes overlapping, so. So that's what Salty Kiss looks like. I'm really loving the color. So you can see how it's turning a little bit lighter where it's starting to dry. So it will kind of get lighter until I put my top coat on it. So just to recap, the colors that are on this, on the under, on the undertones are coral, cowgirl coral, kissing booth, and then I've got hey sailor, and then on top of that is salty kiss, and then what I will be doing is kind of rubbing some of it off so that a little bit shows through. Is my plan. I don't know if it'll dry in time for me to show you all, but we'll, we'll keep working on it here for a little bit. Let's see what happens. Get up underneath. It is kind of nice, you guys, too, to paint upside down. That way you can get, you know, everything hit really good. Paint this, not, not you paint upside down. That would be pretty talented. No, if you can paint upside down, you need your own YouTube channel for sure. No, but you put your table upside down paint the legs and paint the um, rim around the top first, the underneath. You do that first, let it dry, and then you flip it over, and then you do the top and around the sides. That's really the best way. It's a little bit hard to do that um, during a live, flipping the tables and stuff. Um, I bought a small gray coat air gun and a quart of hay sailor, but I'm just starting 
at them and haven't painted yet. Yeah, um, make sure you water that down really, really well. Well, then the good thing about that is your, your paint will go further because you're going to have it so watered down. So it's pretty highly pigmented, so. Yeah. Yes, indeed. All kinds of cool ways. Man, this is really, I should have thinned this paint down. It's really going on pretty thick. What time is it where you're, you are living? It is probably about, it's 6.49 here. I always know because I get, my stomach starts growling. I know it's dinner time. And I'm trying to eat healthy. And then you know what? Yesterday, I picked up KFC. So that was not how I did really good. Counting my calories, counted my calories all day. And then blew it right at the end of the day. It made me so mad. Ah. So that's when I'm figuring out now where my downfall is. I do good in the morning and I do great at lunchtime. It is after I get home and I eat dinner is where my problem time is. I figured that out. So I'm documenting everything. Yeah. So, any tips? You may have tips for me. What works good for you when you're dieting? I tried keto last year. I think it was last year. Maybe it's a year before. And it worked. Keto worked. However, I was so tired of eating meat, it wasn't even funny. It was just too much meat. I just, I just can't. I like a little bit of meat, but I hard for me just to, I don't know, anybody else? I'll read through your comments if you have anything really interesting or good that worked. And I am trying to work out more, going for walks, a little bit of light weights. It's so pretty. It's still pretty wet but up here, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off and let this side dry to see if this front is dry and let's see what it looks like if we want to do a little bit of wet distressing let's just see what it looks like on the front um it is midnight chris says and they are in the uk it's midnight what are you doing up at midnight can't sleep I can't sleep it's not a bad so when i wet distress you guys I really like to use these little wet wipes. Unfortunately, mine are starting to dry out, so I'm going to have to... I don't have to grab some water. Clean water. I have a little wet white, but it's not too wet. And then you're just going to wipe the edges a little bit. And you can wipe it down as far as you want. Remember we have the pink and coral underneath there as well. So you can just rub it until, until it goes down to the color that you like. Hello, Deborah. How are you? We were talking about diets <laughs> just now. Water. Let's see. So I need up here to grab some water. Hold on. Clean water, that is. Okay. 
Okay, oh, my water's dirty. Oh, do you hear my knees? Okay, now this sounds good. Renee says, she was listening to a blogger that mentioned making sure that you eat at least 50% veggies on each meal plate to lose weight can eat so much more when calorie density is less. She has a good blog I can share with you. Yes, that's great. That's good information right there. True. So that would be like, you know, eating a salad maybe before you eat a meal. I mean, we pretty much know when we're not doing what we should, huh? These are little kind of brass knobs too, so you can pull off and down into the brass if, if you want to. I'm just kind of wiping that layer off and you want to wipe and then you're going to turn your you're going to turn your little rag so that you get like a clean spot. Let me try this my rag. It's not very absorbent. Let's see if this is. It's not very absorbent either. Spilling everything on the floor. Okay. So just lightly, just lightly wanna wipe it off. This poor little table. It's been abused. Can you guys see the colors coming through? It's going to rub it. I don't know which I like best, the towels or the rag. I will say that the rag that I'm using has just a little bit more um, roughness to it. So it will pull off probably a little bit more than the, than the soft rags will. Gonna stress it out. Ideally, you would wait all the way in between the layers to dry. You can see where mine's still wet. You would wait until it dries. That way, you're not pulling off too much. Kind of control it a little bit better. But that's cute. Um, what is happening too is the Hey Sailor, since it has the pink tones and the corals, it almost has a little bit of a purpley kind of hue to it, which is kind of cool. Okay, So what do y'all think? Think I should wax or hard coat it? I always like to distress it where the handles are a little bit more, where it would get some wear and tear. This would be cute in a little little boho living room too. These colors. You could do this with sandpaper too, guys. 
but I will tell you if you do it this way with the water, um, it's I think it's much healthier because you're not going to breathe all of the dust from it. Okay, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's see. Look up the starch solution. It pretty much it's pretty much vegan eating. Well, I'm not vegan either. I'm trying it, and I've lost six pounds in two weeks. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Six pounds. I don't, I mean, I don't have a ton to lose. I mean, I'm not one of these people that, you know, that thinks that. I mean, but obviously, I'd say about 20 pounds, you know. 20 pounds. want to feel better. I really like it. I like it. I'm going to try to show you guys how to serve it. wet. I just put my hand in paint, so I gotta be careful, but I am liking what's happening. Some of the texture that I put in, you can see, is coming through where I did the, um, where I put the imprints, so that'll be kind of a cool feature. I am not vegetarian, or nor am I vegan. I mean, like, but oh, it's starting to look. But just let's see what just happened. A big chunk just rubbed off because it's not all the way dry. So I'm gonna have to be careful. Um, but anyway. Um, I, I do like once in a while I'll have a steak. Mostly I have chicken, like chicken on a salad is kind of my thing. Oh, that looks good. And I don't know that I could be vegetarian. I mean, I could, I mean, I could be close to it, but not, not all the way. So I guess that means no, I couldn't. <laughs> No, my daughter is so we are trying to find some more recipes to cook so that we can eat dinner together since she's a vegetarian um you know because we love vegetables too my husband and i so we're going to try like once a week i would like to try a new recipe so that we can all sit down and eat a you know meal together I'll give you guys a close-up here in a second. And I'm not going to, I think I'm just going to do the front right now because it's not, like I said, it's not really, it's not all that dry, guys. I'm in a little trouble here. Um, I would big top the top of it and wax the rest. That way it would be more durable. Good idea. I do that a lot, like when I, a lot of times I do like a wood finish on the top and then wax the bottom. So, all right, hold on, I'm going to wobble you guys around a little bit so that you can see. So, and then if you look... Up on the top, you can kind of see where I imprinted with stamps. 
and it kind of made it, it kind of gave it an embossed kind of a look. That's, that's what I did earlier um, for another um, demo that I did. So, but it's kind of nice that it's all popping, it's working, right? I do love the blues and the greens. Like I said, it's almost showing through as a little bit of a purpley tone because it has that pink under it too. I really like it. What do you think? You guys like it? You kind of see the pink right there popping through. Yes, I love it. Okay, any questions, gang? So um, just a little reminder to make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do have some edited things coming after I get all the my marathon done. Make sure you hit the little reminder button so that you get notified. And I'm just going to wait just for a second in case any of you that are live, if you have a question, please type it in now. And if you are catching this, you know, on the replay or a year from now and you have questions about anything, just type it into the um, comment section and I'll make sure that I um, try to get back to you. I do try to answer the questions. So love it. Judith, Judith says waxes for sure. Okay, I might have to do waxes then. All right, gang, thanks so much. Um, let's see, tomorrow is Friday. So once again, it'll be 6 p.m. tomorrow. I'll be live tomorrow at 6 p.m., okay? I'll see you all then, and have a good night. And thanks for all the dieting tips. And if you have any more recommendations, let's hear them. All right, thanks, you guys. Bye.